YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. This is going to be a sponsor's choice trailer reaction voted by the members of Tier 3. How do you join? Well, at the bottom of the channel page, right below this box you're looking at, there's a subscribe button, there's a join button. If you click that button, it button it helps support Jody's Corner. It helps pay for the the studio, the equipment, the utilities, and all that, and the and the movement and the brand. And I have uh, lots of members who have been joining and supporting. And this is a perk of a membership tier of Tier Three. Click down below, get all the information of the different tiers. Thank you guys so very much. They voted for Greyhound Trader One, uh, and uh, I already was already interested in reacting to this because Mr. Dust Kicker also wanted me to react to this. So it's a double whammy effect. So let's go ahead and take a look at Greyhound. I'm a huge movie bu uh, movie buff, but I'm also a war film buff fan. So a war film fan. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Ah, World War II. Dear Lord, let your holy angel be with me. That the evil foe may have no power over me. This is the war of Japan. Into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul. Amen. That was a German submarine. Congratulations on your command. I'll always be looking for you, Evie. Even if I'm a thousand miles away. Air Saving Ryan. Private Ryan meets Captain Phillips. You will now be out of range of air cover for the next five days. Safe travels to England. How many crossings does this make? This is my first. I got some. Most likely a U-boat. He's trying to slip under us! Fire! <laughs> We have a kill. Distress rocket, sir. We have hits directly on the convoy. The wolf bag's haunting us. You both starboard bound! In 48 hours, we've lost seven ships. And 50 souls. What you did yesterday got us to today. It's not enough. Not nearly enough. We're getting to the point. Yeah. That's what I figured this was about. That's that's great. I like that. Here they come. What are we gonna do? We'll rain hell down from on high. Air support? Very June 12th. Right now. See the missile ricochets off? dope scene so Greyhound yeah this is what I thought it was it's it's uh, in World War II the, the United States was at war with Japan uh, and Germany it was all over the place you know what I'm saying they were they had this and this is when they're sending troops to Europe to help uh, the Brits fight off the Germans uh, where the Germans were just taking over like running sheet and um, this was after uh, Pearl Harbor was attacked um the Battle of Midway was going on around this time, or maybe it had finished at this point. What did it say? Did it say 1942? <sighs> okay. Um. So you got the Russians and the Germans fighting it out in Europe and the, and the Brits. Americans coming to help. Americans are at war uh, in the Pacific. Americans are at war figuring out, how, trying to make their way to Japan uh by touching down and they even touched they touched down in china uh you got and this is the the big uh huge effort to send troops actually to getting their troops on the ground to uh in europe you know what i'm saying so those big battles that we know of the world war ii battles they come from somewhere and it's like where all those hundreds of thousands of troops get 
how they get there, ship. And what's interesting is that I don't remember a, a war movie really doing a story about this, about actually getting the troops to the front lines, showing them the, the ship. Usually the, the war movies always start off when they hit the ground and they're coming up on shore and they're pushing the boats to get on shore and they're like, yeah, let's go. But it never shows prior to that, them being on the ships, the big, huge ships by the hundreds of thousands shipped over there and the, the obstacles and stuff that they have to face because the obstacles they have to face are, are real, no doubt. So I, I love war movies. And I noticed the thing about war movies is that there's a huge divide that I've noticed. There's 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 two different type of war movie fans. There are war movie fan war movie fans who only love realistic war films, like like a documentary live action. And there's the types who likes war films, movies where it's true events, true stories, but also but it has that heroic journey. It has that character, has that story to help sell the product like uh saving private ryan is a war film that has the heroic journey moment in it and dunkirk is one of those war buff that's realistic all the way front dunkirk is a boring movie to me it's christopher nolan's worst film he ever created in my opinion but the worst film that christopher nolan ever created is still a good film because i give dunkirk a b even at its worst it's still a good film that's how good christopher nolan is but then i look at films like pearl harbor midway Braveheart, Saving Private Ryan, um, uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Those are the best war movies in my opinion. I'm that type of I'm that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? There's 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 fans of Outlaw King, the story about Robert the Bruce after William Wallace was beheaded. And then there's Braveheart. Braveheart destroys Outlaw King. Fight me. So anyway, this, this looks tight. This looks like one of those Braveheart type of war epics. It doesn't look like one of the just as realistic as possible to the point where it's not even a movie anymore. We go to see movies to be entertained and also educated at the same time. That's the bonus. The education is the bonus. We pay for movies to be entertained and to take a, a trip on a spectacle storyteller that the director and the writer wants us to experience. So with all that said, I think that this trailer was fire. I'm, I think I, I'm a little bit biased here because I have, you know, I have a prejudice to uh, war films. So I'm, I was already going to see this after hearing about it. You know, you got Saving Private Ryan meets um, Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks leading this thing. So I'm definitely down to see it. And I will be there in the theaters to see it and review it. Did it give a date? June 12th. So, yeah, it's this summer. This movie might clean up really good uh, if, if other movies continue to get pushed back. Yeah. So there's that. All right. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Put down in the comment section what you guys think about this trailer. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing. Deuces.